Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR. And this particular Sculptor VR is all about the amazing sense of scale that Sculptor VR can provide. As far as making one thing big or small, Sculptor VR can go bigger or smaller than just about any other VR art tool out there. So we're gonna look at that and see how, get a real good demonstration of going from the extreme sizes, from extremely small to extremely large. So here is my sculptor piece. You can see a nice box here. I am now at the biggest maximum size. Like most art programs, if you squeeze both hands and move them together or apart, you can control the size. So if I bring them together as close as possible, you can see how it adds a number, that dot between my hands, you might not be able to see it on your camera, but on your normal headset, that's gonna give you an idea of the size and scale you're at. So if this is the smallest sculpture I can make. I can then shrink myself down to flea size. So here's our demonstration. I'm gonna fill this with a landscape using our standard landscape tools. Give me a new desert, please. So here is my sculpture of a desert landscape. At gigantic size, it's a nice little piece, sort of like in the little ant farm I got going here. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna get right into a corner edge or right onto an edge and start making it bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm actually gonna go and take this landscape, let's arrange it so you can see the landscape behind me. I'm gonna see if I can get it so I'm standing at the edge of the world here at the smallest size. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. You can see the landscape be behind me is getting to actual world size here. I'm gonna get onto the tip of the mountaintop here. And I'm just gonna keep making this whole thing bigger and bigger and bigger. Standard scale, grab both hands and pull apart. Let's get this so you can see that whole landscape behind me and get up on top of this ridge right here. There we go. So you can see behind me how big this landscape has gotten. There we go. They're actual mountain-sized mountains. Here I am at the edge of this mountain. I'm still not the smallest. Now the smallest size you can get, it's gonna show up in your headset as 166. 0.6, which means the world is 166 times bigger than normal. Now at the largest size, everything is scaled down to 0.1, so it's 100 times smaller than that. Now these abstract numbers are kind of hard to understand, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to the edge of the world right here, and I'm going to make a nice small sculpture, and I'm just going to draw a circle. Oops off the edge of the world here. Put me inside the landscape. Readjust a little bit, make sure you can see what's going on here. Okay, so, just a regular little piece. Circle. I'm gonna draw a circle a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna keep doing this for a little while, each one a little bit bigger, a little bit farther back, so we can start to see how the change in scale, oops, let's not lose the camera in the artwork here. I'm just making it bigger, a little bit farther back each time. Oops. Get back to our normal colors here, small that out. And I'm just gonna do this for a little bit. And each time I go, you can see how the circles are getting bigger and the center is getting smaller and smaller. Let's see if I get this recentered for you. Now, at a certain point, the smallest inside ones are even gonna disappear. Once you get beyond a certain scale, my headset isn't even gonna bother drawing them anymore. 
But I'm just going to keep making these circles a little bit bigger, a little bit farther back each time. Scale it down a little. So you can see, making sure I'm not getting lost in the artwork here, we're just going to keep this going so we can see how the scale is going to work as we keep getting bigger and bigger, farther and farther back. I'm still in the same picture. Let's get this smaller again. I've made a whole lot of circles by now. My landscape is getting smaller and smaller in relation to these circles. And it's still going, okay, now we can start to see the entire box of my circles here. Okay, I think that's about as big as my circles are going to get and I'm going to start running outside the box. Okay, so these circles, I'm going to get right up close to the camera. You can see how tiny they get. I'm going to angle this right, and now we're just going to start getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Oops, here's one thing I can do. Let's shave down, carve. Shave down that mountaintop a little bit. I don't want to shave where I was standing, because as you can see, I can get right up to the camera here. See how tiny those circles are. But that's not even close. I'm going to get in closer. As we get in closer and closer, you can see the smaller and smaller circles start to show up. Here we go. So now if I rotate, you can see how the big circles, let's even get this so it's around the camera, you can even see how the big circles in the distance, how far away they get. If I'm going to rotate this, let's get the camera inside here, in with me. You can see some of those really distant pieces just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now my personal space in the world is so tiny. You can see how those blue circles get bigger and bigger and just take over the landscape. They're still here if we go small. It's running out of camera space here. Here we go. So here's the smaller circles. And we're going to rotate this and start shrinking and shrinking, and shrinking, and shrinking, and shrinking. Now we can go that small anywhere in this entire piece. Look at that. It just keeps going, and going, and going. And the more I go, more of those circles start to show up more of those circles coming into view for the sheer scale. So now we're going to get inside this piece. The rockets, for example, do have a limited range. So I'm going to switch to my rocket so we can start to see as I fire the rocket off, the nearer pedestals can be hit. But the farther you get into the distance, let's get this beyond the pace, there we go. Now you can see, as I start firing at the near pieces, near pillars can get hit, more distant pillars will start to get out of range. It's not even hitting those distant pillars. I'm going to change scale, shrink things down a little bit, shrink my rocket down a little bit. So when I fire some rockets off through here, we can start to see the pieces that they take out of those chunks very far away. They look far away. 
I'm going to shrink this so I can get up close and let's look at some of those bullet marks. Here are some craters. Here's a crater from one of those rockets. I'm going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Now we're inside the crater of one of these rockets. I can actually grab a tool. Let's put in, oops, stop that. Shameless, I'm inside a single rocket crater. I have written graffiti inside the rocket crater. Oops, my thumb trigger was erasing a couple extra pieces there. There we go. Glad of mayhem. Shameless mayhem. And again, using our scale, it gets smaller and smaller. Now you can see how the letters disappear at a certain point. Once they're too small to read anyway, they do disappear. But if we know where to look, we can keep going in closer and closer and closer. So we can actually make artwork that's got an entire countryside. And we zoom in and build little villages and castles. And each castle can then have people, whoops, go away please. We can have people inside it. So we've got this starting from an entire countryside and then zooming in closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and, whoops, closer and closer. We're losing our camera. There we go. And as long as we keep track of where we paint things and how we paint things, we've got this tremendous flexibility from incredibly small to incredibly large. And this is over the course of an entire large object. So you can see how the large circles are sort of disappearing into the distance because it's so large and far away. And yet we can keep track of details this tiny as we work in these pieces. So Sculptor VR has one of the largest senses of scale out of any virtual reality art program simply because of the amount it lets you scale larger or smaller within one piece. You could paint an entire country landscape and then go in and do each individual house in the entire landscape and then go inside the house and paint decorations and furniture for an entire countryside. And it's still going to be saved within that one Sculptor VR format. Have fun with that. You can make gigantic pieces and spend months and months just adding more and more and more little details over time, over space. Sculptor VR can handle it. There we go. Let's make sure we can see all these pieces as if they were landscape. Hopefully this will inspire you to try different things of your own. Go big just because you can. That's the half the fun of Sculptor VR is being able to take a simple idea and just have it grow to the point where it takes over an entire world. I hope you guys have fun with this. I hope this inspires you a little bit. Let's get a little bit of our sphere action going here so I can write our usual message. Leave us questions in the comments below. Let us know if there are tools or things you'd like us to go over. We do these things just about every week here on shamelessmayhem.com slash, I mean, youtube.com slash shamelessmayhem. We also have shamelessmayhem.com. Uh, but that's what we're all about. Creativity in these virtual reality art programs. So have fun with Sculptor VR. Link in the things that you create. We'll see you next time. Have fun, everybody.
and standing on the letter S in subscribe. Carve up some graffiti and then zoom away. Have fun, everyone.